Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you are worried about the state of your business since the recession, you're in the right room. If your business is doing relatively well, but a small voice in the back of your mind is saying, we could be doing more, you are in the right room. If your business is absolutely flying, and that same voice is saying, we should be taking advantage of this momentum to take ourselves to the next level, what should we be doing? Congratulations, you are in the right room. Welcome. Today we are going to be talking about how to add an extra zero to your bottom line. We, um, we have a fair amount of time that we're going to be spending together here today, and I'd like to just check the nature of the people in this room. Who fits this description? Your business, or the business that you're involved in, did not exist prior to an act of your willpower. Who fits that description? Okay, most of the people around the room, that's fantastic. So most, the majority of people in the room are business owners. For the rest of the people in the room who are not business owners, today I would like you to, I'd like to invite you to use an interesting psychology. I want you to own the brand that you represent. I'd like you to, to position yourself today as the person who can make the big decisions for your company going forward and think of the organization in that way. Take psychological ownership over it. Entrepreneurs put together two events. The first one was the how to start your business. And uh, of course, there are some incredibly terrifying statistics around how many startup businesses fail. And uh, in fact, if you were listening to some of the radio stations this morning, some of the talk stations mentioned that we are statistically and measurably, it is more difficult now to do business in South Africa than it was last year. It's actually getting worse. In spite of government's insistence that organizations like yours are the backbone of our economy and are the solution to poverty. So in a climate like that, we need all the help we can get. We need all the principles that we can possibly use to make this machine move forward and do the best that we possibly can. I wonder if you remember what it was like starting up your business. There are a couple of analogies that I've heard that really appeal to me. The first one is the angry weasel analogy. The angry weasel analogy says starting up your own business is like greasing up a weasel, which causes it to be angry, and then chasing it across a field. And your goal is to catch the weasel before both you and the weasel die of dehydration. The second analogy for starting up your own business is it's like building the Starship Enterprise out of Lego in a darkened room with the lights off. You know how the Starship Enterprise looks. You've got all the right bricks, but when the door closes and the lights go out, actually putting one brick on top of another turns out to be much more challenging than you ever expected. And the final one, and this is perhaps the one that I think most people can relate to, it's like carrying a leaking bucket across a finish line. And you have taken everything that you can gather, all the water that you can get your paws on, you've put it into this bucket, and you have to make it across that finish line before the bucket empties. And the bucket is hemorrhaging water. If you make it across the line, you've survived. 50% of people, 50% of companies do not make it across that line. If you get across there and you still have enough water, congratulations, you're into year two, after which most businesses fail as well. Does any of that sound familiar to you? <laughs> All right, well, today we are going to be talking about how to add an extra zero to your income. And what I'd like to do is just take you back to that moment in your mind where you first came up with your business idea. This brand, this business that exists today and which you are representing at your table, where did it start? What was genesis for you? I think for most people, the answer is usually quite surprising. We don't tend to think of these things in a strategic meeting where four people sat down and said, let's think of a business that we can begin. It happens in strange and arbitrary ways. It might be on the treadmill at gym. It could be in the shower at home. And often the part of your mind that was most deeply involved in coming up with this, this idea is not the part that deals with numbers and logic and sequencing. It's that part of your brain that goes, you know what would be awesome if? You know what I could do? And by virtue of the fact that you're in this room, you took that next step. You said, I'm going to do that awesome idea. Take that feeling that you had, that moment of genesis, where the flame came alive, 
And I would like to invite you to use that part of your mind today. Because it turns out that moving your business to the next level is often not a matter of numbers or sequences or charts or graphs or stats. It's a matter of very much what Fat was saying, going, what would be awesome next? And there are reasons why business works that way today, and we will go into the, some of them in quite some depth. So, let's talk about the audacity factor that you need in your business. And in fact, I would like to, uh, to invite you to think a little bit about how bold you have to be to survive in an economy like this one. The audacity factor goes like this. There was nothing. One day I woke up and I had an idea, and today there is a business. Once again, I'd like you to I'd like to invite you to think about how much you have developed out of the nothing, the chasm that existed before. How far has your business come? Because if you're like me, or like most of the people in this room, the startup phase was a case of having your nose stuck in the machinery. You probably had long days, you probably had very little sleep, you were probably getting up very early in the morning, and you had your nose stuck in the machinery for so long that you haven't had the chance to think strategically. That is your opportunity today. In fact, time is generally the worst problem that we face. We know that we have to take our minds out of the machinery and think more broadly with a broader view about our business, but we don't find the time to do it. We've set aside a few hours for you to do that today. And the value, of course, is this. We will take you through what you need to be asking yourself. Some good news about our process. There will be no charts, no graphs, no stats, no facts, no figures, no long-term MBA studies. We are just people talking about the businesses we've grown and how to make more money through that channel. I'll do a few simple things today. I'll tell you some fascinating stories. I'll share with you some sound principles that can grow your business to the next level. And perhaps most importantly, I will ask you the questions that you need to be asking yourself right now. It's your moment to zoom back and think, but let's think constructively. Let me guide you in terms of what you should be thinking about.